Some say this universe is made of light and darkness. These ancient forces flow through all matter and energy in our solar system and beyond. But we haven't always known this. When the Traveler arrived in our solar system, they called it many things. A ship, a planet, a god. Its presence provoked and inspired great change. It terraformed several moons and planets. Our lifespans increased threefold. And we launched colony ships to settle worlds beyond our own. This was our golden age. But like all golden ages, it was doomed to collapse. The Traveler was pursued by an ancient enemy. A voice in the darkness. It found us. Humanity lost everything. With the last of its strength, the Traveler pushed back its enemy to create something new. The ghosts. In the dark times that followed the collapse, the ghosts chose the first light bearers. Immortal warriors gifted with the power of the Traveler's light. Humanity faced many threats in those days. Invaders from beyond our system arrived in droves. Pirates called the Fallen came to scavenge the remains of our Golden Age. The warlike Cabal came for our territory and resources for conquest. The Hive, ravenous worshippers of death, came to feed their infernal hunger. And the Vex, strange living machines, came to recreate our world in their own brutal image. We fought with each other as well. For a time, chaos reigned. Though in the end, we came together to rebuild, to heal. We built a city under the Traveler, the last safe city of Earth. In this city, humanity lived peacefully in all its forms. The humans, Earth's original inhabitants, the Exos, marvels of the Golden Age, and the Awoken, a people touched by both light and dark. Light bearers took an oath to protect the last city over the centuries, they earned the title Guardians. Guardians. The Titans, paragons of strength and bravery. The Warlocks, mage scholars trained in the arcane arts. And the Hunters, bold adventurers gifted with cunning. Guardians know that when they stand together, they are stronger. And now, new threats use our own powers against us. The Black Fleet closes in, edging us toward a second collapse. And our greatest adversary, the Voice in the Darkness, is revealed. A being of unimaginable power. The Witness. But all is not lost. Brand new Guardians rise every day to shape the future of our solar system and beyond.
Before you can confront the witness, you must understand it. The witness's first victims were once like you. Struggling for survival, bolstered by hope. And so their hopes became reality. They called it the Gardener, their deity of life. It ushered them into a golden age. For eons, they prospered. But their newfound god never spoke to them. It lavished them with gifts, but not with guidance. And though they lived in paradise, they came to crave a greater purpose. They desired meaning, structure, a winnower, to shape the garden. Their scholars discovered that the Gardener shared a connection with another entity among the stars. They called it the Veil, and when they found it, they arrived to claim it. They already knew much about the Light, how it could bend the laws of the universe and create life. But they came to realize that it could bring ruin just as easily. The cosmic events it set in motion could wipe out entire civilizations in a heartbeat, without reason. And so they saw the light, not as a source of prosperity, but of unfettered chaos. By studying the veil, they came to know the darkness. A power that was shaped by thought and consciousness. And in the darkness, they found the means to carve away the chaos of existence. To calcify it into a final shape. Eternal. And perfected. They brought the veil back to the gardener in an attempt to strengthen their connection. There, they could reshape reality itself. The Gardener would not allow it. And so it fled their world. But they would not be deterred. Having witnessed the truth in the darkness, they used its binding power to merge themselves into the salvation they craved. Thus began the Witness's pursuit, its campaign to impose meaning on a meaningless universe, one that is nearly at 